ladies and gentlemen, this is the Psycho Sim Project here, and I am here with Aeon. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Excellent, excellent. Um, how's the tour been going so far for you? It's been going good so far. Yep. Uh, nothing really bad has happened to us yet. Uh, <laughs> we get. Uh, we're, we're all here. We all live still. <laughs> living dead. <laughs> Maybe. Ideal for tonight, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, you're touring with Campbell Corpse and Revocation. How have you been getting on with the other bands? Really good. Uh, they are actually my two favorite bands to tour with. Oh, right. Okay. So we toured once with Cannibal Court before, once yeah. with uh, Revocation on Summer Slaughter last year. So, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Cool, nice, all of them. Um, to people who've never heard Aeon before, how would you describe your sound to them? Oh, well, take the best out of Morbid Angle, DSI, Cannibal Corpse, and Suffocation. You got it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Now, how do you deal with what is essentially playing to a hardcore crowd who, for the most part, are probably here just to see Cannibal Corpse, in some cases, obviously? Yep. And how do you deal with that, obviously? Uh, there's not really much you can do other than try to prove them wrong, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if they're all, if they're really that much into Cannibal Corpse... Nothing not you like do, we're, yeah. I mean, uh, we, uh, it's not like we sound... sound a million light years away from what they're doing yeah yeah so if they like them they should be able to appreciate what we do too yep yep okay um now it's been two years since you released the superb aeons black album yeah. um have you got a new release coming soon uh we haven't really anything planned any date or so but i believe it will be late uh 2015. excellent excellent um, and now what's involved in the writing process for aeon uh well um Usually we uh, we write some riffs and stuff at yeah. home. Pr we program drums and record. So do you do you write on the computers. road as well? Yeah, no, not that's what Tommy does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's how we do it, and we uh, share it with each other. And if someone has any idea for yeah. some structure uh, changing or whatever, yeah, you know, uh, we try to uh, make the whole thing writing process up together, but. So yeah, that's how we do it. Sometimes Tommy, he has like a vocal pattern that he wants me to put a riff to. Yeah. So I try to do that to, you know, like the other way around. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, now around this time last year, I do apologize if I kind of bugger up the names here. <laughs> um, Daniel Gleamy left yeah. the band. Um, how has new member Ronnie Bornstrom been fitting in? Yeah, really good actually. He's the guy that produced Aeon's Black, so we yeah. already knew him. and. Uh, he, um, yeah, I, I had actually never heard him play guitar, but since he was able to hear uh, what was good enough for when we recorded, yeah. then I knew that he has a good ear for what's good and what's bad, and if you have that, you should be able to play good too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and so it's been going really good with him, so... Okay, um, now back in 2012 you had Alex Webster of Cannibal Corpse themselves um, call the musicianship of Aeon as among the best in death metal. How did you feel once he when he came out with that and you heard oh, about that's it? That's really flattering of course, <laughs> you know, he's one of our big idols. Yeah, uh, yeah. Been listening to them since forever, so... Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, for the people who haven't seen you live before, what can they expect from the live experience? Ooh, yeah, I hope. They will get some intense death metal yeah. and some <laughs> cool head banging and stuff like that. Cut, hopefully, cut the circle pits going as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, are the anti Christian, anti religious themes something you believe the band is going to continue in the future? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Yes, yeah. We'll yeah. That. Okay. Um, how do you feel the sound of the band has evolved over the years? Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, uh, we, we try to do the thing that we have always done, but just keep doing it better and better. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we aim to do. So, so. basically, just keep improving your core sound as best you can. And yeah, exactly. Something like see that. where it goes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you always uh, it, it does get a little different though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between albums, but um, yeah, it's still. If you like the first album, you should still like the new one. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, have there been, been any instances where the band have um, written a song and then when you've played it back to yourself you just thought, that's not quite right for the Aeon sound? Um, no, not really. Um, we all, 
I think we all share the same opinion about how things um, should sound like, you know. And actually, when I all the songs that I wrote for Aeon's Black, I did not. I actually allowed myself to uh, uh, write anything that would sound good. Yeah. I didn't really care if it would fit Aeon or not. Yeah. I just yeah. wrote. So I think. Uh, if you if you um if you try to um just think too much about um if it fits a certain if, if, yeah, yeah yeah i mean it, you're just gonna you're just gonna get caught there like it's, it's kind of hard to process yeah to proceed yeah. okay um have you got any interesting tour stories or crazy things you have had your fans do <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's several of them <laughs> but uh like i told this other uh this other guy that interviewed us. Uh, last time we were with Cannibal Corpse, uh, it was also with Prostitute Disfigurement. Oh, yeah, from, yeah, yeah. I believe they're from Holland. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and after a show in, in Scotland, uh, we uh, it was me and some of the guys from Cannibal Corpse and some of the guys from the crew, and we, we talked about uh, Prostitute Disfigurement, and we referred to them as the Prostitute guys and started to get li <laughs> really... <laughs> Uh, suspiciously looking looks from <laughs> the crew there <laughs> venue <laughs> oh where's the prostitute guys <laughs> so. okay. um, finally is there anything you would like to say to any fans who are listening to this tonight uh, well yeah give it a shot if you're into death metal I think you will like us excellent thank you very much for your time <laughs> thank you cheers Some will burn.